What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast, where we cover all the teams behind me, Union, Sixers, Eagles, Phillies, and the Flyers. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all news Philadelphia sports. Now, the Flyers just got done playing a game against the New Jersey Devils, where we win this one 3-1, to one. Carter Hart back in the net after a, a game off from, you know, really... It, he, he took a little bit of a a bad couple games, and, you know, it was kind of getting to him. He was caught, not really caught, but he was recorded slamming his sticks on, on the goalpost, and I can't really blame the kid. He's a young goalie, and, you know, when the defense doesn't really give him help, which they didn't in the first three periods, to, or in the first two periods today, but when you're not giving him help and you're letting – you know, the the Bruins score or shoot the puck 38 times on you and the Devils. and When you're just letting teams shoot on them, on your goalie for fun, it's going to get to the guy. And, you know, he lost against the Sabres bad. He got pulled in that one. Then he loses against the Bruins bad, 6-1. Uh, to one. But, you know, thankfully we did get the win today. Carter Hart looked amazing tonight. Uh, he let up the first goal, though. Um, but after that, it, it was pretty much rock solid from him in the net. Uh, the Flyers, though, however, did not turn it on until the third period where we were shooting. We shot eight shots through two periods tonight. That cannot happen. Now, we did turn it up and we did end up shooting 17 shots on net for the game. But y this team definitely needs some more offense to facilitate and get shots on net. Good things happen when you shoot it at the net. I mean, I've been told that my entire life. I've never, I, I only played deck hockey, like street hockey. But, you know, I've heard this for my entire life of, of watching the Flyers. When you shoot it at the puck, or when you shoot the puck at the net, good things happen. You get redirects, you get rebounds, somebody's there. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, if you sit around the net, you know, you got your JVRs, you got your guys that sit around the net and do the dirty work. Well, it works. That's why they do that. That's why they get paid to do that. And, you know, Giroux, what did he do today? He sat around the net. Nate Prosser sat around the net. That's what you need. And I'm glad to say that the, the Flyers did get this victory today. Now, we were in the penalty box four times. And, you know, we only had eight shots through the two periods where we had three guys in the box. Our, pat, our, our penalty kill looked great tonight, where it hasn't been great all season long. We were ranked 29th coming into tonight on the penalty kill. Well, we looked a lot better on it today considering we had to kill off three and a half penalties because the one, we got a four on four for a minute and then we got the man advantage for a minute in the third period. But this team definitely needs to work on some things. And, you know, obviously when you're missing your best player in Couturier and you're missing your, you know, one of your better defensemen in Phil Myers, you know, that, that definitely hurts a little bit. But hopefully we get those guys back soon. But thankfully, again, we did get the victory today, sweeping this this little series against the Devils 2-0 in this one, winning Three to one today. Now I will say the faceoff was great. We were winning pretty much all night. We won seventy four percent of the faceoffs tonight. You had Giroux, you had Patrick, you had Hayes, you had pretty much everybody step up and really get the job done in the faceoff area, and that that's great to see. Also in block shots, you know I love to see that the defensemen are going to get down and you know block a shot. And Provorov, you know I I love Provorov. I'm pretty sure he led the team again in block shots. Actually, he didn't. No, he did. He did. My bad. Yeah, he led the team of block shots with four. But let me just say, Nate Prosser today hasn't played an NHL game in two years, hasn't scored an NHL goal in, in three since 2018. He looked good today for, you know, coming back. He scored. He scored the first goal, you know, three blocks, he looked good tonight, and, you know, props to him 
for, you know, stepping up for the Flyers in, in this win. Eric Gustafson also played really well. Two assists tonight. And, you know, his defense is a little meh for being a defender, but he's a very good offensive defense defenseman, if, you know, you get what I'm saying here. But, you know, finishing with two assists tonight, he had the one shot. He just ripped it right to Giroux, and Giroux's just sitting there in front of the net, redirects off his stick. He also assisted off Gust, or, uh, Pross, Prosser's goal in the first period to tie the game up. You know, it, it, it was a better third period than the entirety of the first two and, or the first two periods in this one. It was 1-1 after 1 and 2. Carter Hart literally looked so much better. He was making saves like crazy. He made one where he slid pretty much all the way across the net, made a pad save, saved 33 of 34 shots. I like to see this Carter Hart get back on the ice, and really look good out there. We have a tough two-game series this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We play the Islanders, and we all know what happened the last time we played the Islanders. They beat us 4 to nothing, and we got knocked out of the playoffs. But I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have Carter go 1, Elliott go 2, uh, in the first and second game, I mean. But the team definitely looked better tonight than they have than they did against the Bruins and they looked way better in the third period than they did in periods one and two. I do have to shout out though that fourth line. Raffle, Bunneman, and Albay Cubell <laughs> clap it up to you guys because they played great out there tonight. That lineup, that shift, they looked great. They really did. And they really brought back they really brought us back into this one. I mean, they started the third period and they ended the third period even getting a goal Raffle Bunneman and or Raffle got the goal but it was mainly really because Obekubel keeping the play alive, Bunneman putting it on net and then Mike Raffle was just there to clean it up. But that line right there played great. They really did, and I, I'm I love to see that your fourth line played great. Now you need Konechny's line and Giroux's line and Hayes's line to play better. You need that to happen 100%. But I'm glad that we did have that fourth line tonight. I mean, these are the guys that you need to step up. You know, when the game gets a little bit physical, when the game gets a little bit sloppy, it was anything but pretty tonight. I mean, we had a ton of turnovers, as we have struggled with this season. We have turned the puck over a lot in the neutral zone, in our zone, in their zone. It doesn't really matter. We've just been turning over the puck a lot this season. And the first goal for the Devils, and the only goal, was because of a turnover in the neutral zone. That just can't happen. But... We did look better tonight. In the third period, we looked good. But I will def we're definitely gonna need a little bit more from lines one and three, one through three, to really solidify a better victory. But we did get the victory tonight. I'm not going to complain. I just wanna see us play the brand of hockey that I know that we can play. And I know that we can play it. JVR also getting an assist on the Giroux goal. Uh, it was a beautiful pass by Jake Voracek, who I know did get an assist. Yeah, he also got an assist. Van Riemsdyk uh, assisted on the Prosser goal. My mistake. But Jake Voracek to Eric Gustafson to Giroux pretty much looked great out there. Uh, it, it was a quick bang, bang, bang play. Into the back of the net. You gotta love it. Flyers get the victory tonight. 3-1 to one against the New Jersey Devils. We are 5-2-1 and one on the season. With a big, big, big two-game series coming up this weekend. I'm excited for it. Um, you know, thank you all so much for tuning in to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. This is your host. Make sure to go like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, I love making Flyers videos. So if you have any Flyers uh, fans that are friends or 
anything like that, tell them about the channel. Trying to grow it out here um, to really make a great community for the Philadelphia sports community. I, lo I love doing this, and you know it definitely means a lot for everybody that watches all my videos all the time. And you know, for those who don't watch them all the time and just watch certain ones, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Let me just put it like that. But with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning into the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. Flyers get the win tonight, 3-1. to one. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I am out. Peace. Go Flyers, baby.